podcast. I am Pastor Eric Johns, pastor of the Buffalo Dream Center in Buffalo, New York, and we're so happy that you're joining us uh, for the podcast. Uh, We know that this podcast is uh, reaching out to a lot of people, and uh, we thank you for tuning in and telling all your friends and family about the podcast and spreading the word and sharing this on social media. All of it helps uh, to get the word of God out there and to let people know what's happening at the Buffalo Dream Center. Uh, If you live in the Buffalo area, we would love to have you uh, at church on a Sunday morning. The Buffalo Dream Center meets at 11 o'clock a.m., and we're located on uh, Lafayette Avenue, uh, right on the upper west side of the city. And uh, we love the neighborhood here, the people here, and the people that come from really all over western New York uh, to church here. Uh, Some travel about an hour away uh, to come. And so uh, we thank God for all the people that are a part of this church family. And uh, we invite you to come if you live in the area. We would love to have you here uh, join us uh, to worship Jesus on a Sunday morning. Uh, We are going to be uh, starting today. Uh, a new series uh, in the podcast called Having an Excellent Spirit. And I'm excited to do this uh, for the next uh, few weeks uh, with you to just kind of dive into the Word of God and see what the Word of God says about having an excellent spirit. You know, if you are to be, if you and I are to be the light of the world, there has to be something in us that sets us apart uh, from other people. Uh, People should see a difference in us. If you're a born-again believer, then the world around you should see that there is something different about you. Um, Something uh, should make us stand out. Something within us should cause us to rise uh, to the top. Um, If I'm talking to Christian young people, which I have the privilege of working with a lot of uh, young people in their early 20s, late teens, uh, you know, uh, I would really, I was as I was preparing for this, I thought this is really great for everybody, but especially young people that are out there, uh, there should be something inside of you at, in school, on the job, in college, wherever you, you are in life, something inside of you that causes other people your age to, to see a difference, that causes you to rise above the rest. Otherwise, what's the point of being a Christian? I mean, really, if we have Jesus living in us, then we should stand out. So, uh, Do your teachers see something different in you? Do your peers see something different in you? Do people at the workplace see something uh, different in you? As Christians, shining our light, we need to be shining our light in every area of society. So uh, do people notice a difference on the job? Do people in your family, your relatives, see something in you that sets you apart? And so that's what I want to talk about um, in this series. I want to talk about having an excellent spirit. And you know, this is in the Bible, and the Bible teaches us how to have an excellent spirit and how to work on that in our lives uh, so that we can be uh, the best witness for Jesus that we can uh, to our friends and family and peers. So uh, let's go. If you've got a Bible, uh, go to Daniel chapter 6. Turn there in your Bible, and we're going to read about Daniel, because uh, he was somebody who definitely had an excellent spirit. Daniel chapter 6, starting in verse 1. Let's look at at a few verses here about the person of Daniel. Uh, It says, it pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the whole kingdom. And over these three governors, of whom Daniel was one, and the satraps might give an account to them so that the king would suffer no loss. Then then this Daniel, now this is verse 3, look at this. This is Daniel 6, verse 3. Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. Wow, so there was something in Daniel 
that the Bible calls an excellent spirit that caused him to rise above all of these other political uh, leaders and positions that were that the king himself had put in place. Verse 4, so the governors and satraps sought to find some charge against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find no charge or fault because he was faithful, nor was there any error or fault found in him. Wow, I mean, that's pretty amazing when you read that, that verse from the Bible. So in this series, we're going to look at what does it take to have an excellent spirit? What is an excellent spirit? Uh, if you have an excellent spirit, what will it do for you in life? Um, so let's look at this first. What does it mean that Daniel had an excellent spirit? And, and those of you that know me, I like to dive into the definitions of the words. And so that's the first thing I did is just uh, look up this uh, this word excellent as it's found in Daniel. And I found that it, it meant this, a preeminent to exceed, excellent to excel, or to jut over. We're going to look at that one in a minute, to jut over. Um, let me read you some other translations of Daniel 6, verse 3, just so that you can see how it, how it reads in some other translations. Uh, the Bible in basic English says, Then this Daniel did his work better than the chief rulers and captains because there was a special spirit in him, and it was the king's purpose to put him over the whole kingdom. The Good News Bible says Daniel soon showed that he could do better work than all the other supervisors and governors because he was so outstanding. That's the the uh, what it uses instead of an excellent spirit. He was so outstanding, the king considered putting him in charge of the whole empire. Uh, God's Word translation says this, this man, Daniel, distinguished himself above the other officials and satraps because there was an excellent spirit in him. The king thought about putting him in charge of the whole kingdom. The Message Bible says, but Daniel, brimming with spirit and intelligence, so completely outcast, outclassed the other vice regents. He outclassed them. I like I like that in the uh, in the Message Bible. So, uh, what will an excellent spirit do for you if you can grab a hold of this? If you can bring this into your life today, and the Word of God is always about that, not just about learning information, but bringing it into your life, making it revelation to you, and walking in it. Because in North America. We're filled with information. That's not what I want to do in this podcast. I'm going to give you some information, but we need to grab a hold of that, bring that into our life and say, God, I don't want to just know about Daniel's excellent spirit. I want to live that same way. I want that excellent spirit in me. And so uh, that's what we're going to be doing as we, uh, as we study this. Now, uh, one of the definitions that we read of an excellent spirit was to jut over, jut, J-U-T. So I had to look that up and see what that meant. And the word jut means to shoot forward, to shoot forward. So having an excellent spirit will shoot you forward in life. It'll shoot you forward. Daniel 6 verse 3 says, distinguished himself above. So having an excellent spirit caused Daniel to distinguish himself above the other leaders. It caused him to jut forward in life, to be pushed forward in life, to go ahead of others in life, all right? The the, the definition of distinguish above means to become chief, to be preferred, to glitter from afar. I like that definition. Did you get that one? To glitter from afar. What does that mean, to glitter from afar? Well, when I think about it, the first thing I think of is a star in the nighttime sky. One, some, there's millions and millions of stars. And if you ever look up at the nighttime sky and in the city, we don't get this a lot because of all the city lights, but I'm always amazed when I get out of the city and our family would go camping or we go out in the country, and then at nighttime, how the sky looks so different than when you live in the city. And when you look up at the sky, you see all of the stars, and there's millions and millions. 
But sometimes there's that one star that's brighter than the others, and it's flickering and stands out. And with all the millions of stars, you can point and say, oh, see that star? And everybody can see that star. Well, that's what an excellent spirit will do for you. With all the people in your job, with all the people in your school, with all the people that surround you in your career, with all the people in the world, what will make you stand out from amongst them? An excellent spirit. An excellent spirit. So how about a scene from a movie? The, another way I look at it is, you know, you have a scene from a movie. We've, we've, we've all seen this. It's a crowded room, lots of people in it, and a man notices a certain woman. You know, there's hundreds of people there, but a man fixes his eyes on a certain woman in that room and asks her out or fall, they fall in love. And why? What, what, why? Because she was so beautiful, it caused her to stand out from the crowd. So uh, having an excellent spirit means this. You will be noticed in the crowd. Some of us need favor on our lives. I've tell you favor, I'll probably do a podcast on favor one time because for some people, all they need is favor with the right person to open a door in their life that will make the way that you've been praying for. Well, how do we have favor? How do people notice us? What if somebody else is more qualified, but God want, is working on my behalf to have that position? Listen, I believe as a Christian, if you will develop an excellent spirit, you will stand out from the crowd. So this man, Daniel, that's, that's what he did. He distinguished himself from all the other people. He stood out in the crowd. He was noticed from afar, right? The king even thought about, man, I'm going to put this guy in charge of, of my whole kingdom. So having an excellent spirit will cause you to shoot forward in life. If you're taking notes, write that one down. It's going to jut you forward, shoot you forward. Having an excellent spirit will cause you to be preferred above other people. Having an excellent spirit will cause other people to notice you, even in a group of other people that are doing the same thing as you, you will be noticed. And, uh, this is an incredible thing to think about, and it's in the Bible, and I believe that God wants Christians to have this excellent spirit so even in places in society that Christians can fill those seats, that Christians can be in places of influence, and and maybe you're praying for God to open doors for you, and uh, this would be something that you should work on having an excellent spirit. So let's just review a little bit here. If you possess an extraordinary, outstanding, excellent spirit. It's going to cause you to be preferred above other people. Your excellent spirit will cause people of importance to notice you. Wow, these are great points. You may think that on your job, you're just one of hundreds of others. But if you will develop an excellent extraordinary spirit, it can cause you to rise to the top of all of those other people, and it will shoot you forward. Let me, um, let's just stop. As we're laying the foundation for this, let me just submit something to you, all right? Let me just throw this out there. It's something that I think is a truth that we all need to understand. Life is not just about getting good breaks or bad breaks. See, some people think that. Well, you had life better than me. You had, a, uh, you had a father. I didn't have a father. You grew up with money. I grew up poor. Uh, that's why things are good for you. You know, you came from a family with money. You went, oh, you went to a good school. I never was able to go to a good school. You know, or things just go good for him, but they don't go good for me. They're different for me. No. You've got to get that thinking out of your head. The way you think will determine the way that you live. So you've got to get that Stinking thinking is what we used to call it back in Bible school. You've got to get that thinking out of your mind because life is not about good breaks and bad breaks and just chance that, hey, well, he just got the good break. He just things just go well for him. No. If you will take the time to develop an excellent spirit, according to the Bible, it will cause you to shoot forward, 
It'll cause you to be preferred above others, and it will give you favor in the sight of important men and women. We need this for preaching the gospel. You know, just just recently, uh, my wife in Honduras was able to get her team of people into a prison to minister the gospel in a juvenile detention center when they weren't even allowing churches and ministries into this prison uh, to minister to people. But Michelle told me that when she sat down with the warden and the people in charge, that there was favor upon her life. See, we need favor to open doors to preach the gospel in places. We need favor to advance the kingdom of God. We need favor to open the right door that's been closed. And an excellent spirit will give you that. So it's not just about what God does for you, you know, he's, or what he doesn't do for you, or what he seems to do for others, but he doesn't do for you. It's about you developing your spirit. It's about you having an excellent spirit that causes you to rise above others. It puts the responsibility on us. Well, you don't understand, Pastor. I've had it difficult. Things haven't been easy for me uh, growing up. I didn't have all the other things that other people had. Exactly. That's it exactly. I'm glad you said that. (laughs) That's it exactly. Because if that is the case for you, then you need this teaching more than ever. You need to develop an excellent spirit. If you will develop an excellent spirit, all of that past won't matter, and God will promote you. Having an excellent spirit is for rising above your circumstances of life and taking on an entirely new position. I want to say that again. Having an excellent spirit is for rising above the circumstances of your life and taking on an entirely new position. So, see, this passage of Scripture is about Daniel. Don't forget it's about Daniel. All right, well, did Daniel have it easy? No, Daniel did not have it easy. Daniel could have been one of those people in our churches that said, well, look what happened to me. You know, that this is the reason I am the way I am, and I'm all messed up. Look what happened to me. He could have said that because Daniel had, now, first of all, Daniel did have good parents. He had good parents that taught him the word of God. But Nebuchadnezzar came in, the king of Babylon, conquered Jerusalem, and he killed Daniel's family. Daniel's family was was wiped out. And uh, so because, uh, now just think about that. His family was killed. His family was, uh, he he was taken captive uh, uh, in a foreign land. And uh, he was forced to be re-educated in Babylon. So he had all kinds of reasons why he could, he might have thought, you know, this is not, life is not working out for me. With no family and living as a slave in a strange land, Daniel's excellent spirit caused him to rise above others around him to the extent that the king considered him to put him in charge of the entire kingdom. Who else does that remind you of? Reminds me of Joseph. Reminds me of Joseph. In the Old Testament, same thing. Both of these men had an excellent spirit. So here's my question. Do you want an excellent spirit? Do you want an excellent spirit? If you want an excellent spirit, then there's going to be some things that you need to do in your life. There's going to be some things that you need to reject in order to have an excellent spirit. There's going to be some things that you're going to have to do in order to have an excellent spirit. And that's what we're going to study in this podcast. The things that you need to do to develop your spirit so that your spirit causes you to rise above the rest. So I hope that you're ready for this. I, it's going to be an exciting, um, I think it's going to take us about five uh, podcasts to do this. And uh, I think every week is just going to get more and more exciting uh, as, we, uh, as we do this. So let me pray for you before we go today. Father, I thank you, Lord, for, um, uh, for each person watching. I thank you, Father, for helping every believer, Lord, that needs doors open for them, that, had, that needs favor on their life, that needs you to do things, Father, to push them forward, to set them above the crowd. Lord, that this teaching will help us all to develop the excellent spirit that you want every Christian to have. And Father, I thank you for it. I thank you for blessing each person in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for watching our podcast today. And um, uh, don't forget um, uh, to scan this uh, QR code uh, that uh, we are providing for you. It tells you everything that you need to know about the Buffalo Dream Center and how you can give. We appreciate you giving and helping us as we reach people here in the inner city of Buffalo, New York, and around the world, especially in Central America right now. Uh, we need partners that'll, that'll stand together with us to reach people with the gospel. Thank you so much. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.